So this is, um, I feel like a part two, a quick word to what I released this morning. Um, so I just want you to hear what thus saith the Lord. And I want you to receive this word of of encouragement, impartation, revelation, all that good stuff, all mixed up in one. So what the Lord did for me is the Holy Ghost, after I released that word, continued to talk to me for a really long time. And there was a part of what the Holy Ghost revealed to me that he actually confirmed for me and then he demonstrated for me. And I want to talk about the demonstration of the word that the Holy Ghost talked to me about after the video. So in the video that I released this morning, it's still May the 10th, 2020. The Holy Ghost said to me that I, I really saying where I, the Holy Ghost had said to me, you know, this thing has taken wings, right? And so in my time with the Holy Ghost, after I released the word, he said to me, you know, this new thing, this, this new thing that you are in, right? Like this thing, you have to keep up with this thing. You have to keep up with, with this word, right? When I talked in that, in that video and I talked about things are going to be different, you know, God was saying to me, you have to keep up with the new thing. You have to, you have to keep up with it. And so I was like, okay, God, you know, like I'm, I'm really thinking that I'm hearing God. Right. And so I released a word a couple of days ago and someone went under that particular video and kind of gave a little bit of a backhanded com um, comment to me and kind of said to me, you know, I, I thought the video was good, but there were elements of, of you in the video that I just felt like was pretend, right? So, you know, um, and so, and so in dealing with that, because I really need you to, to really hear me, right? Because this is really going to minister to you because it ministered to me. So in dealing with that moment, cause this is all the Holy Ghost demonstrating what he said to me, right? You know, that, that comment and that person, you know, what has since been removed, right? Cause, cause the Holy Ghost dealt with me on how to deal with that. And so the Lord took me to John eight. And so I went to John 8 and I started to read John 8. And as soon as I started to read it, I thought, oh, wow, this is good. I know what you're talking about, right? I'm thinking the Holy Ghost is getting ready to talk to me about character and all that stuff. No, that's not where the Holy Ghost was going with this. So in John 8, all of John 8 is about the, the Pharisees talking to, first of all, John 8 obviously starts with the fact that they want Jesus to accuse the woman, right? So I'm not going to, first of all, have anything negative or bad to say because I have had moments where I have looked at people in ministry and I've made my own assumptions. You shouldn't dress like that. Or, you know, so I am not without sin and I have not been, I have not, not been corrected by God to mind my business and stay in my lane, right? So moving past that though, John 8, there is a lot, especially starting at verse 12, the Pharisees and, and they have a problem with, with Jesus saying, you know, he's the light of the world with Jesus saying he's, he's seen Abraham. And they're like, you no no, you haven't. No, you ha as a matter of fact, you can't say that about yourself. You can't say you are the light of the world. You need like, a, th that's too big. Right. And so Jesus is, is the whole rest of John eight, which goes all the way to verse 59 is Jesus, you know, pretty much talking to them about who he is. Stay with me here. Cause this is going to be good in a minute. So when I read through this, right, this is Jesus talking to them, right? This is Jesus, you know, just, just telling them about who he is, right. And his ministry. And so the Holy ghost says, go read the end of John eight. So the end of John eight, Basically, the, the, they finally get to the point where John 8 and 59 says, So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. So the Holy Ghost said to me, the Holy Ghost said to me, you have to keep moving to keep up with the new thing. 
You have to keep moving to keep up with the new thing. Because let me tell you something. You, 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 yes, you, who I'm talking to, you do not have the time and the effort to, to entertain the old stuff. You don't have time to validate where God has you, right? You don't have time for that old thing saying, oh, you, you've been here before. You, you believed for healing before. You believed that you were, you were going to get married before. You believed for financial provision before. Oh, you've been here before, right? Because see, and, and you, you've been entertaining that old thing, right? Let me tell you that old thing you can't entertain it. You have, listen, you have to move past it. You have to keep going. Cause let me tell you what the old thing can't do. Remember I put in a video talking about the old Testament, how Pharaoh went into the Red Sea and, and God drowned him. See the old thing can't follow you that it can all, it is banking on the fact that you're going to stay right there and keep talking to it. It's banking on the fact that you're going to stay right there and keep validating it. You're going to keep rebuking it. You're going to keep renouncing it. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going into the new thing. I'm going to keep going into the new thing. I liken this thing to, to birthing a baby, right? You don't have time. When, when you have a, you got to nurture that baby. You got to take care of that baby. That you, You're taking a baby to the doctor every few weeks as the baby is growing and getting weighed and, that's what you're doing. You're nurturing your new thing. You're feeding your new thing. You're speaking life and scriptures over your new thing. You're not sitting here still straining to believe God to be out. You're out and you have to lit. You have to move. You have to move. You have to move. You have to move because here I'm rest assured the old thing can't follow you. It knows that. That's why it's hoping that you stay here and you keep entertaining me. That's why when people say, oh, you, you, you know what? You've been trying this business thing for a good little minute and it ain't popped off yet. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, this, these videos and all this stuff, they still all fine and dandy, but what's going on in your life? Let me tell you something. I'm like Jesus. I know where I've been and I know where I'm going. I know where I've been and I know where I'm going. And so this is, this is what really blessed me though. This is what really blessed me because the Holy Ghost said, hop over, hop over to John nine, hop over to John nine. Cause you know, you know, over here, we, we straight with the word, we straight with the word. So in John nine, it starts with, as he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. As he passed, Jesus is still moving. Jesus is, Jesus ain't missed a beat. Jesus has not missed it. He's not sitting here thinking like, man, I wonder why they don't, they don't think I'm the light of the world. And I don't know why they don't get, I gave them all the scripture. I've been healing all these people. Like why they don't get, nope, nope. Jesus kept it pushing. Jesus kept right on moving into the new thing, into the new thing. The new thing, you know what the new thing is? I'm the Messiah. I'm Jesus. I am the son of God. I don't have time to entertain the fact that you still stuck on Moses and Elijah and no, no, no. And Abraham. Nope. Jesus says before Abraham was I, I was on the scene before Abraham. How you was on the scene before Abraham? You're not, you're not even 50 years old. See y'all, y'all ain't even picked me up in the spirit realm yet. Like you, you hopping on these videos and you worried about, you know, insignificance. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to entertain that because I have people that are, that I'm interceding for on a, I can't entertain you. If I entertain you, then that means I got to get off my face for somebody else who emailed me because they getting ready to lose. Their, I, I can't entertain you. I can't entertain you. I can't entertain. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I can't, I can't entertain that, that dude from way back. No, I got a husband that I'm praying over that God done released to me. I can't entertain you. No, I can't help it that you feel some type of way about the way I talk. Listen, I'm from the Atlanta. I can't entertain you. That's how I talk. I can't entertain you. I can't entertain that old, I can't entertain those, those old pains and those old labels. I can't, I, I, I can't entertain you. No, 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 no. You're not really getting ready to be free. You know how long you've been depressed? You know how long you've been miserable? You know how long you've been work? No, no. You, what are you doing? You cannot. 
And Jesus himself demonstrated that. You spent, Jesus spent all this time really trying to get them on board. Jesus was like, and then they still picked up stones to try to kill Jesus. That old thing, I'm telling you, it doesn't just want to, it wants to destroy you. The enemy comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. So let me tell you real quickly, let me tell you real quickly about the beauty of the new thing. So Jesus is still gone. He keeps it, he keeps it pushing. And he comes across a blind man, right? And so his disciples, you know, they, they, they got a little bit of that Pharisee scribe type mentality. So why he blind? You know, did he do something? Did his parents do something? And Jesus is like, no, this is for the glory of God. This is for the glory of God. So Jesus does something that we, that we don't ever see him do in scripture up until this point. Jesus picks up some dirt and spits in the dirt and puts that on the man's eye and tells the man, go rinse that off and you'll be fine. Say what? Say, <laughs> come again? You, you not getting ready to speak a word. We not getting ready to have no, no, there are things that I'm used to. I, I'm used to, listen, no, 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 no. What about, what about the man at the pool that you told to get up? What about the blind man that, that you spoke, you getting ready to spit in some dirt and you want to put that on my eye and then you want me to go rent. So, so what if this don't work? Where are you going to be at? You getting ready to be up at the temple, like in Syria, you're going to be in Jerusalem. Where are you going to be at, bro? Cause I'm going to need to get in touch with you if this don't work. Cause I'm going to have a problem. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, right? What God is doing for those of us that are pressed in is so amazing and so spectacular and so mind boggling. We are only going to be able to look back and say, that was God. That was God. I understand that you don't know how to navigate in this new thing because I don't either, right? I'm, I'm still, listen, I'm still walking through it with you. But what I do know is that I'm getting ready to keep it moving. What I do know is that the, see, cause I, I don't know about you, but see, I've lost a new thing before I've, I've, I've gotten distracted. I've started entertaining old mindsets, old relationships, old behaviors, old bondage. And the new thing was like, you know what? Catch me in 2020. Cause I'm about to dip and I lost it and I lost it and I lost it. Not today, not right now. Because the new thing is moving. The new thing never stops. So if you stay entertaining that, because let me tell you something, the old thing, gonna, listen, the old thing is going to be right there. That's why the Bible says, hold fast your confession of faith. The old thing going to keep, no, no, let me just hold on to my, to my faith and keep walking out this new thing. Because the old thing going to keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Jesus whole ministry, they kept right on talking. Even up into the cross, they kept right on talking. Even after he was dead, they kept right on talking. You understand what I'm saying? So I just came on here to tell you, don't lose sight of the new thing. Don't lose sight of the new thing. It doesn't matter the naysayers, friends, family, people who mean well. Don't lose sight of the new thing because what God is doing what God is doing for us, what is, this time is different. This time really is different. And what God is manifesting for those that are pressing is getting ready to be so crazy. I'm talking about, you getting ready to do what? Spit, it's getting ready to be so crazy that you can only say, let me tell you what happened. So I know I've been in this for a while but I found this YouTube page and there was this girl and she, I mean, I don't, I don't really know like much about how she looks. No, I don't know. But she, she, she's been, you know, releasing words and I've been receiving and who, <laughs> oh, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. You mean you didn't go through such and such ministry? No. Who, who is this again? Um, yeah, you know, I don't, I can't say much, you know, listen, as a matter of fact, just say the Holy Ghost did it. How about that? We all getting ready to just give credit where credit is due and we getting ready to say the Holy Ghost did it, right? I don't, we don't have time for the naysayers. 
We don't have time for the people that don't support us. We don't have time for the people that haven't caught hold of the vision. We don't have time for the demons the same way we don't have time for the religious spirits. We about to keep it moving because I'm not, I'm not losing this new thing. I'm not losing it. I'm not releasing it. I'm not giving it up. It's for sure not about to outrun me. Listen, I got to go. And and God said to me, this thing that caught wings too? That means it's unaccelerated? Oh, I got to go. I got to go. I'm sorry. I got to go. No. Mm -mm. I've been in bondage for too long. And heaven has my back. This time it's different. Oh, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. You don't, you don't think I'm qualified because I am a single mom? Oh, I got to go. You don't, you don't think I'm qualified because I use slang in my video? Because I randomly cry? Because I slip in the tongue? Oh, I got to go. Honey? Listen, if that's the best you could do, you, you, I ain't even mad. I ain't, like, I ain't even, come on, I ain't even mad. Listen, I've been called worse by better. God bless you. That That's what you got to do. That When that old thing come, I don't care if it's your mama. Mama bye. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I don't care if that old thing is a friend. I don't care if that old thing is whatever. You don't entertain it. You, you got to keep it pushing. You hear what I'm saying? Listen, this ain't no real deep, super, listen, the prophet telling you to keep it pushing. That's what the prophet's saying. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving. If you don't know slang, if you listening to this from another country, in the South, keep it pushing means keep going. Okay? AKA, keep walking. <laughs> That's what it means. Okay? I love y'all. Hashtag, I'm helping y'all get y'all stuff. Keep going. Because the new thing is still always and forever moving. Okay? <laughs>